So with your dominant hand, hold your phone, and with your non-dominant, hold your pencil. Respond to the text I sent you, <clears throat> and write a sentence on the paper, trying to keep it as straight as possible. You can't stare at the paper. You gotta look at your phone or at the okay. paper. Yeah. Or at John. All right. What you saw Turn in that paper. video was me describing that we cannot multitask. We can only do one thing or the other. As you can see, one of those lines didn't go straight because as you're texting and driving, you only glance at the road. You stay focused on what you're texting. And you have your phone in your dominant hand, and your non-dominant hand is driving or holding on to the steering wheel. And as you saw when they wrote with their non-dominant hand, wasn't that great. So how can they drive that great? With a hand that is not trained to do things right. Today I'm going to be explaining to you why I think no one should text and drive. Did you know that there are over 4,637 people that die in car crashes due to texting and driving, or more commonly known as distracted driving in 2018. That's about 15% of all wrecks. But yet, the age group that qualifies in that is 18 to 24, and they see no problem with them being on their cell phones. I think we all should see a big problem with them being on their cell phones in this age group if there are that many wrecks just in 2018. Now, <clears throat> there are what surprised me about this was there are a surprising amount of states that actually have it illegal to text and drive, but no one listens to it because it is not enforced enough. Over half the people that are pulled over for texting and driving receive the ticket and pay it, and then the next day they go right back to texting and driving. Okay, I have an example on facts two slide for you. <clears throat> this lady, Howe, was seen by a state trooper because she was coming into his lane because she was on a phone call. And she didn't know. She went and the state trooper went and pulled him over. I mean her over. And told her that he pulled over because he thought she was texting and driving. Matter of fact he saw her. And she still denied it. She said no I wasn't. And he said well okay I saw the phone. You are going to receive a ticket. <clears throat> and they went on their way. She later appeared in court and tried to fight it. She still lost and had to pay a net, the original fine plus all the court fees now. All right, so I actually have a personal story to share with you about why not to text and drive. I was probably about 14 when this happened. My brother Evan, my oldest one, had just gotten a car. He was on his way to work. He was texting his work because he was late. He was calling them and texting his boss and saying, hey, I'm gonna be late, but I'm on my way. He was also speeding. So there's two things you shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have been doing. He wrecked, totaled his car. He was unconscious, flipped over, and a guy just managed to stop, see him and go, are you okay? and called my mom because he had to go to the hospital. He was unconscious. And I'm going to show you what his car semi looked like when he wrecked. Now, 
I have another video to show you. And I want you to do this for me. I want you to focus on just <clears throat> how many times the basketball is passed between the people wearing white shirts in this video. Give me a second to skip the <clears throat> ad. All right. Just watch the white basketball, the people in the white shirts and see how many times they pass the basketball. How many passes did you count? The correct answer is 15 passes. But did you see the gorilla? Now I'm going to speed it up. There's the gorilla. Alright. Now, you probably didn't see that because everyone has selective vision. And that applies also for when you're driving. Because you're so focused on your phone that you're... Pro You'd sit with it in your one hand, you'd have your other hand in the wheel, you'd be texting and just glancing at the red, not paying attention to everything going around. And a lot can happen in that time. So, in conclusion today, I've talked to you a little bit about facts, how people deny that they have not been on the phone when texting and driving, because states that it's illegal, a personal story from my past about what happens when you're on your phone and texting and driving. And I've also showed you that <clears throat> you have selective vision because you only saw what you were told to see, which would be a good example of, <clears throat> sorry, my thoughts die, which would be a good example of texting and driving. You're so focused on one thing, you ain't even paying attention to the other fully, so you don't even fully know what's going on there.